Hola, buenos días. En este video, yo voy a hablar de los pronombres demostrativos. I'm going to take a look at demonstrative pronouns. In English, demonstrative pronouns are words like this one, that one, these, like this one is interesting, these are boring, that one is fun. Uh, those are demonstrative pronouns. If you have not watched my video on demonstrative adjectives, you're going to want to do that first. Yeah, unless you've already learned demonstrative adjectives um, in, your, in the classroom, then that will not be necessary. So this video follows up to my demonst demonstrative adjectives. So um, I'm going to give you an example for each one, which is a total of 12 examples, just to make sure you understand it, to demonstrate it to you very well. Uh, if you have any questions afterwards, make sure you let me know. Here we go. All right, so in front of you, you have two charts. The first one, the one at the top, is the chart on demonstrative adjectives. Uh, the, remember that the demonstrative adjectives are the words this, these, that, and those. Uh, the first four on the left-hand side, or the first two, este and esta, are this. Estos and estas are these. And then ese, esa, aquel, and aquella mean that. And esos, esas, aquellos, aquellas mean those. And uh, the difference is based on where the item is that you are talking about. So we're going to look at demonstrative pronouns. Um, I'm going to give you some examples of both the adjectives and the pronouns together so that you can see how it works. So for example, if I want to say this author is tall, I could say este autor es alto. And if I want to make that a little shorter and I want to say this one is tall, so instead of just saying this author is tall, I can take out the author and just say this one is tall. What you're going to do is eliminate the word autor from your sentence and put an accent mark over the first e on este and you would have este es alto. This one is tall. If I want to say this comic strip is funny, I could say esta pira comica es comica. And then if I want to just say this one is funny, I would eliminate, eliminate my noun pira comica and say esta with an accent mark over the e, esta es comica. If I want to say these are interesting and these are details, uh, I would say estos son interesantes. If I want to say these writers are intelligent, I would say estas escritoras son inteligentes. Let's just say these ones are intelligent. I eliminate my noun escritoras and put an accent mark over the e and have estas son inteligentes. Now let's move over a little bit to the farther away section. If I want to say this one is boring and I'm referring to the commercial which is El Anuncio, I would say, ese es aburrido. Notice the accent mark over the first E. If I want to say this one is new, and I'm referring to the addition, which is la edición, it's a feminine word. I'm sorry, I'm saying that one. That one is new. I would say, esa es nueva, with an accent mark over the first E, or the, the E. If I want to say these facts are false, I could say, esos hechos son falsos. And then if I want to just say these ones are false, or those ones are false, I would say esos son falsos. And lastly, for that section, if I want to say those heroes, the female heroes, hero, heroines, are strong, I could say esas heroinas son fuertes. And then if I want to just say those ones are strong, I could put the X mark over the E on esas and eliminate my noun and say esas son fuertes. And then lastly, at a great distance, if I want to say that rescue is dangerous, I would say aquel rescate es peligroso. I can eliminate my noun rescate and put an accent mark over the E on aquel and say that one is dangerous. Aquel es peligroso. If I want to say that one is hardworking and I'm referring to the female author, I could say aquella es trabajadora. If I want to say those ones are terrible, referring to the robberies, which are robos, I could say Aquellos son terribles. And lastly, if I want to say those ones are Cuban, referring to the female journalists, which is periodistas, I would say aquellas son cubanas. So hopefully you've noticed now, in order to use these demonstrative pronouns, all you have to do is eliminate the noun from your sentence and put an, a an accent mark over the first E on your demonstrative adjective and it becomes a demonstrative pronoun. So it's a pretty simple step you have to take. Just eliminate the noun, put an accent mark over that first E, and you have your demonstrative pronoun. If you have any questions, let me know.